Hi everyone. Today in this video we will see the part 2 of anti cancer agents in easy way. In the part 1 we have discussed about the alkylating agents, anti metabolites and plant derivatives. Now in this part 2 we are going to cover the hormone analogs, antibiotics and miscellaneous types of anti cancer agents. Anti cancer agents can be remembered by using few of the suffixes. For example, here the suffix rubicin indicates they are the anthracycline antibiotics. So one of the drug in this category is the doxorubicin, which is an anthracycline antibiotic. Similarly, we can use the suffix like the reotide, which indicates they are the growth hormone inhibitors. One of the drug is the octreotide, and here the suffix reotide indicates they are the growth hormone inhibitors. And the suffix relin. Relin indicates that the gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs. We have so many drugs, and one of the drugs is the goserelin, which is one of a gonadotropin releasing hormone analog. Similarly, the suffix rolimus indicates they are the immunosuppressants. One of the drugs is the everolimus. And the suffix platin indicates they are the platinum compounds. We know one of the well known platinum compound is the cisplatin. Similarly, another suffix is rafinib. Here the suffix nib indicates they are the protein kinase inhibitors and rafinib indicates they are the raf kinase inhibitors. So one of the drug is the sorafinib and here the suffix rafinib indicates it is a protein kinase inhibitors particularly inhibiting the raf kinase. In this way we can use a few of the suffixes in order to remember the drugs in the each category very easily. Now in this video we are going to cover the remaining drugs in the different types of categories like the hormones, antibiotics and other categories in the anti-cancer agents. And fourth one is the hormone analogs. We can have so many types of drugs in this hormone analogs and few of the drugs are nowadays therapeutically more important. So let us see one by one. First one is the estrogens. Estrogens can be indicated by the infix ESTR. So we have two drugs like the ethinyl estradiol as well as dithyl stilbestrol. Both are having the infix ESTR. But nowadays the estrogens are having somewhat less clinical use and particularly they can be used in the hormonal replacement therapy as well as oral contraceptives they can be used. But these two drugs can be used in the treatment of prostate cancer where the other alternative drugs are nowadays available. Second one is the anti-estrogens. These drugs can have the different types of suffix like the ifen, ifen and estrant. Drug with the suffix ifen include the tamoxifen and drugs with the suffix ifen include the raloxifene and clomiphene. Estrant, estrant indicates estrogen antagonist. The drug is the fulvistrant. All these are the anti-estrogens. But nowadays we can use another term SCRM, Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulators. That means these drugs are having both antagonistic activity as well as agonistic activity. So at the few of the organs, they can oppose the actions of the estrogen, but at few of the organs, they can increase the actions of the estrogen. So SCRM is a better term where it indicates the Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulators. So tamoxifen can act as an anti-estrogen and it can inhibit the action of the estrogen on the breast tissue. So tamoxifen can be used in the treatment of breast cancer. It can be used in the both premenopausal as well as postmenopausal breast cancer because it is directly blocking the estrogen receptors. On the other hand, raloxifene is having the antagonistic activity on the estrogen, but it can promote the actions of the estrogen on the bones. So raloxifene can inhibit the osteoporosis. Similarly, clomiphene can increase the estrogenic activity on the anovulatory woman. So clomiphene can stimulate the ovulation within the woman. In this way, these two drugs are used for their estrogen modulator activity. And fulvistrant is an anti-estrogen again used in the treatment of breast cancer. Third category of drugs are the aromatase inhibitors. These drugs are having the suffix mistane. So one of the drugs with the suffix mistane is the eximistane. Eximistane is a steroidal aromatase inhibitor. But steroidal aromatase inhibitors are going to produce more side effects compared with the non-steroidal drugs. So non-steroidal aromatase inhibitors are later developed. And these drugs can have a suffix rozole. So drugs like the anastrozole and letrozole which are the non-steroidal aromatase inhibitors. And we can also have another drug like the aminoglutathamide which is again non-steroidal but it is not having that suffix. 
So all these are the aromatase inhibitors. Aromatase inhibitors are going to inhibit the sins of the estrogens from the androstein dione. So they are more important in the postmenopausal women. That's why aromatase inhibitors can be used in the treatment of postmenopausal breast cancer. And they are not useful in the premenopausal because they are not directly blocking the estrogen receptors. They are useful in the treatment of postmenopausal breast cancer. Next one is the progestins. As we have already discussed, the progestins can be indicated by the infix gester, G-E-S-T-E-R, and sometimes E after the T may be either present or absent. So one of the drug is the medroxy progesterone, which is in the infix G-E-S-T-E-R. And another one is the magistrol, where it is not having the E after the T. Similarly, another drug is the norhisterone. So here the infix gester or hister can be related with the progestins. These drugs can be used in the treatment of endometrial cancer. And fifth category is the gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs. These drugs can be indicated by the suffix relin. Here the suffix relin indicates that the releasing hormone analogs. That means these drugs are going to increase the releasing hormones from the pituitary. So they may increase the gonadotropin releasing hormone or they may increase the thyrotrophin releasing hormone based on that we have the different types of suffixes but here in the anti-cancer agents we have the drugs are having the suffix relin which indicates that the gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs so drugs like the goserelin, buserelin, leuporelin, hysterelin and tryptorelin all these are the gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs <clears throat> these drugs are going to <coughs> these drugs are going to increase the <coughs> even these drugs are the gonadotropin even these are even these drugs are the gonadotropin releasing hormone analogs but because of the auto feedback mechanism they can inhibit the follicle stimulating hormone as well as the luteinizing hormone thereby they can decrease the actions of the androgens as well as the estrogens that's why these drugs can be used in the treatment of postmenopausal breast cancer as well as in the treatment of prostate cancer they can be used and sixth one is the growth hormone inhibitors these drugs are ending with the suffix reotide so we have the drugs like the octreotide lanreotide and pastreotide all these are having the suffix reotide which indicates the growth hormone inhibitors and these drugs can be used in the conditions where there is an excessive growth hormone is going to be released and it produces a uncontrolled proliferation. For example, these drugs can be used in the treatment of gastrinomas as well as vasoactive intestinal peptidomas. In such conditions, these drugs can be used. And next one is the antiandrogens. Antiandrogens can be indicated by the suffix lutamide. So we have the drugs like the flutamide, nilutamide, bicalutamide, and enjalutamide. So here the enzalutamide is a anti-androgen along with some enzymatic properties and these drugs because they are going to antagonize the androgens they can be used in the treatment of prostate cancer but within this category we have another drug like a ciproterone which is not having this suffix and is one of the old drug which is not having this suffix. Now let us go for the next category antibiotics. So within the antibiotics the first category of antibiotics are the anthracyclines. Anthracyclines can be indicated by the suffix rubicin. We have various drugs like the doxorubicin, donorubicin, epirubicin, and idarubicin. So here the rubicin indicates they are the anthracycline antibiotics. These drugs can act by multiple mechanisms and their primary mechanism of action related to the inhibition of the topoisomerase 2 enzyme. But these drugs can also produce free radicals which can cause the DNA strand breakage. And other antibiotics are having the suffix mycin. So here the suffix mycin indicates these are obtained from the streptomyces species. For example, dactinomycin, bleomycin, and mitomycin. All these are the anti-cancer antibiotics coming from the streptomyces species. And here the dactinomycin can act as an alkylating agent. Bleomycin can produce the DNA strand breakage. And mitomycin again act as an alkylating agent. Similarly, another suffix is the ectidin. One of the drugs is the trabectidine. So here the suffix ectidine indicates they are obtained from one group of chemical category. Now let us go to the miscellaneous types of uh, anti-cancer agents. So among these, the first one is the monoclonal antibodies. 
they can be indicated by the two types of suffix like the zymab or zumab the zymab indicates they are the chimeric monoclonal antibodies chimeric means they are coming from one part of the animal and zumab indicates they are humanized they are coming from the human cells so drugs with the suffix zymab in include the rituximab and cetuximab similarly drugs with the suffix zumab include the bevacizumab and trastuzumab so here bevacizumab is one of the monoclonal antibody which can inhibit the angiogenesis in the cancerous cells angiogenesis is the generation of new blood vessels which can be blocked by bevacizumab similarly other drug is the catumaxumab which is coming from the two types of species and which can be again indicated by the suffix mab similarly next one is a platinum compounds platinum compounds can be indicated by the suffix platin we have drugs like the cisplatin oxaliplatin and carboplatin all these platinum compounds act like the alkylating agents and they produce a cross link within the dna strands but these platinum compounds are highly neurotoxic and they can also produce a severe nausea and vomiting in order to treat this nausea and vomiting we can use the 5ht3 antagonist like the ondan citron next one is a protein kinase inhibitors these drugs are having the suffix tinib so here tinib indicates they are the tyrosine kinase inhibitors so we have a lot of drugs like the imatinib gefitinib nilotinib erlotinib sunitinib lapatinib axitinib and desatinib so many types of drugs are there which are the tyrosine kinase inhibitors and these drugs are going to inhibit the cell signaling pathways within the cancerous cells thereby they can inhibit the cellular activities and we can also have the other types of kinase inhibitors which which can have the different suffixes like rafinib and rolimus the suffix rafinib indicates they are the raf kinase inhibitors and rolimus indicates they are the rafamycin derivatives which are acting like the immunosuppressants here the last term imus indicates they are the immunosuppressants so drugs with the suffix rafinib include the sorafenib which is in going to inhibit the raf kinase enzyme and drugs with the suffix rolimus include temsirolimus as well as everolimus these two drugs are the immunosuppressants and they are structurally related to the rapamycin finally we will conclude with the other types of drugs like the one of the drug aspartaginase aspartaginase is a enzyme preparation which can convert the aspartate into the aspartate so cells cannot have the aspartgin so aspartgin less death can be observed within the cancerous cells similarly other types of drugs are the interferons which can modulate the host immunity thereby they can decrease the cell proliferation in this way we have a lot of uh, anti cancer agents which can be classified into the different categories even we have so many drugs we can easily remember these drugs by using their suffixes and whenever you identify these suffixes you can easily say the drug belongs to which category and how it can act and you can easily differentiate any two types of drugs within this anti cancer agents so that's about the anti cancer agents hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video